46. You know, art is a central part of Portland culture, and there are plenty of local artists who want to share their work with you. Cor Harlan live this morning to explain how Open Studios is making art more accessible. Cor? Boy, Ken and Jenny, this is really cool because Portland Art Studios is a is a, a tour they do once a year, two weekends in October, the second and third weekend in October. And essentially what it is, you don't have to go to the gallery to see art. You can go to any one of 103 art studios in the Portland area and actually see the artists at work. It kind of gives you a little bit of intimacy. It gives you a little bit of familiarity with the process. Uh, and it's really cool. And we're going to show you here in the next couple of minutes here one of the things uh, that uh, Maud May does here at her studio in Northeast Portland. And that is called the disappearing napkin. All right. Right, Maud. So Maud has showed me already. You can get a napkin from this is from Ikea, I gather. Right. There's three layers of napkin here. I didn't know that. But you peel off the back two layers and you are left with the, the tissue here. Now, uh, Describe from this is called encaustic art, and, and and what this is this is using beeswax and anything else you want. Right? Yes, it's using beeswax and a resin that makes the beeswax a little bit harder, so it doesn't get soft. And you melt the beeswax and the resin together, and then you do layers of it. And every time you do a layer of beeswax or whatever you put down, like paper or pigment, then you heat it up. All right, we have about a minute to go here. Yeah. Here is the piece of napkin that I've chosen. This is a, a poplar, a little chunk of wood poplar with some cardstock over it, and it's got a layer of beeswax over that. So let's do this. This is how it goes. Smush it down really good there. And then this is the cool part here. You take the heater, right? I don't want to heat your fingers up, Maude. I don't want to do that. All right, now, you turn that heater on there. Okay, now watch that, Carl, real close from the center inside. See that mat? The wax starts to melt, and it starts to adhere to that poplar and cardstock and layer of beeswax underneath. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but it's. I think you you probably can. And all right, so that now that little piece of napkin that I've cut out there with a little bit of a little bit of a bird there is now embedded in that layer of wax. Okay, now we take another thing of uh, beeswax over there. She's got a pancake griddle heating up a lot of beeswax over there and a lot of colors. You, you go over there, one layer, just like a pro. Look at that. The player, the guy with the hockey player mentality is uh, turning into an artist. And then one more heating it up here. Okay, that's just to embed this. Now, you can do this with as many layers as you want. This is called, again, encaustic collage. And it is simply using a little bit of uh, wood, a little poplar wood, with a little bit of cardstock over that. And you can go over with as many layers as you like. I'll put that under the light for you there, Carl. There it is. So that's my bird there off of a napkin uh, onto some cardstock using a little bit of uh, beeswax to encase that a little bit. And look at the wall of stuff we've got here as we'll send it back to you, Jenny and Ken. This is all the stuff that Maud has done. Hun uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of really cool pieces of art as part of Portland Open Studios. This weekend, you go to any one of 103 artists in the Portland area and see the process as it happens. Yeah, I mean, just by itself, I wasn't really, you know, conceptualizing it, but when you see all those things together, it looks kind of cool, actually, Cor. Very nice. Yeah. Looks like you're uh, mm -hmm. having some fun over there yeah. doing that. Yeah, yeah you put a bird. Budding on. artist. Uh, budding yeah, artist. Well, I mean, I don't know if I go that far, but yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Cor. Thank you, Cor. <laughs> well, let's talk a little uh, traffic.